We're gonna have, keep trying until we're done. This could be the one. Which achievements do I not have on this save file? I don't have the common sense achievement for winning a run with all commons because this save file is specifically for A20 play. Uh, and I also don't have minimalist for winning with five cards or fewer. But I do have guide videos showing how to get those achievements. So I've, I've definitely done them before. Emerald Page. Hey there, hey there. If I had to redo this challenge from scratch, whether I would have done anything differently. Yes, I would have. The last time I got two clumsies, I would have taken it a bit more seriously. I would have played like my life depended on it. But uh, other than that, I don't think so. I think we'd still be sitting here looking for violence. Emerald Page, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. So lose all gold was one of the penalties, right? Yeah, I don't actually want this option. So it's probably boss swap then. <clears throat> Although we could snipe the Burning Elite, potentially. That's also worth thinking about. I say we boss swap. I want a curse key. That's not a curse key, but it is a delicious tortilla chip. And perhaps that's just as good. Also, my face. That's quite a rude open from the first run, first turn of the first run of the day here. Max rolled the health on both of these slimes, right? Yes, 34 health, and this one could be 15 health, I guess, although anything other than 11 or 12 doesn't really matter here. And then they're both attacking on turn one. Good for us. Good for us. Ray Delvano, thank you so much for four freaking years of support. That's a pretty good first drop. I double power strength potion um, would be very useful with pummel specifically to allow us to get past our first elite, whatever that might be. Or we could even save this combination for Hexaghost at the end of the act. Normally, I would be heavily eyeing a dark embrace, but with the sacred bark replacing our starting relic, we don't have as much room to take beefy cards that don't provide immediate value. I'm gonna grab this pummel here. And we're going to continue to hemorrhage hit points. To be expected from this particular boss swap, I think. That we perform poorly in any fight where we're not using a potion. Though I was hoping it wouldn't be this poorly. Dang. Take 12 more, huh? And then win next turn. Okay. That hurts. Full auto, thank you so much for the five gifted sub. That five gifted subs? That doesn't hurt. That feels good. Can score a battle trance or a shock wave. I think both of those are really good. Battle trance in particular, I really adore. Give me that. Hmm. The most fulfilling of lives is that in which you can buy anything, says the serpent. And you know what, serpent? With a shop being on literally the next floor, I am somewhat inclined to agree. We get enough money to buy a relic. Currently, we don't have enough money to buy a relic at the shop, so our options are going to be pretty limited. If we thank the snake, then we'll have enough to buy a relic and still remove the curse afterwards. That sounds pretty good to me. This will all be worth it, says the snake. Thank you, snake. We get going with our cash. There's a waffle here. Waffle is the relic we can buy. You know, that's not bad. Given that we've already lost a lot of health, we're down a full 40 hit points. So this is 47 additional hit points for 158 gold, and that should easily let us get through the remainder of the act. No problemo. So 
That bad slime fight, that bad jawworm fight, don't worry about those. Those are in the past now. Because we're at full health. I like that. And then, yeah, I'm going to remove this curse. We have just enough money for fire breathing. Interesting. Maybe we did want to keep the curse. Do we want a fire breathing? Hmm. Maybe. Idle on. Nah, thanks for the 11 months of the Prime sub. So close to that full year. And Hollywood, did I thank you for four metric decades? I don't think I did. Griffingtron. Hi. Thanks for 19 months. Only food relics so far. Could have had ice cream to finish it off. You know what? Let's do it. I also like blue. It's a good color. And then instantly we can lose some of that health again in order to gain random upgrades. Huh. I think so, yeah. I think that's a good trade. You get a bash upgrade that way, as well as an upgraded defend. Hot. Scorching hot. And then are we going for the burning elite? I I don't really think that we should. I think I'd like to upgrade pummel or battle trance. And then fight this elite with the one potion. We probably could beat the Burning Elite with the Strength Potion. We'll be down an upgrade, though. I don't like that. Let's go this way. In terms of Elites, what would I be afraid of? Legavulin seems the most threatening of, of Burning Elites. Legavulin with max health would probably be the worst. With the Strength Potion, I, I don't anticipate too much trouble from anyone. It's not like Gremlin Knob's going to be a problem. Although, again, maybe with max health. Sentries, I think, with strength would probably be the worst of them. As then we take more damage getting set up to kill them. But mostly I'm afraid of having one less upgrade. I want that upgrade. Turn one bash versus Gremlin Dom. It's pretty good. We're definitely not going to kill this thing quickly enough without using the Strength Potion. I'm just going to invest this to get our first, hopefully, useful combat relic. Ideally, without losing any health to Gremlin Dom. Okay, thinky time. So, obviously, we can battle Trance. But there's only a three-quarters chance that that'll draw a pummel. What if I just play all three block cards? You attack for 17, I block for 18. If we take zero damage, then we kill with the next turn draw. So it is actually correct to full block here. Right? That, that This will super-duper kill him. Yeah, sounds good to me. Bonk. We get a nice clean kill. Our first combat relic is a regal pillow. If we choose to rest, we'll heal more. That's kind of cool, actually, with a high max health. And we're offered a bludgeon. The big bonk. You know, I do like bludgeon as a card. Ghostly armor is also pretty broadly useful defensively. You certainly want damage in the early game, and Ghostly Armor is not going to help us kill Hexagos, crucially. So I say we take the Big Bonk. And smack our foes to death with that. I also like that more with an upgraded um, Bash. 
find the Golden Idol. Inconspicuous. I guess I'm okay losing some of the max health that we have to get the Golden Idol, giving us more money for the rest of the run. This can often pay off in Act 2 or 3 as well with uh, follow-up events. It does cost us 8 max health here, where we could take 28 damage, and then I guess we could rest with Regal Pillow to keep the max health. Actually, that's not the worst idea in the world. Hmm. I'm not thrilled with the idea of taking damage because although we're... You know, Hexaghost may not require a lot of health. I'm still planning on fighting two more elites this act, and that's going to require some hit points. So if we take the damage, we're probably forced to rest here. Or we should rest there, but I'm okay resting because we have Regal Pillow. We'll get back more than 28 health. Could also just take the Curse. That gives us a Transform target, and we have a Fire Breathing, so a Curse isn't the worst. And then I can upgrade Battle Trance, and it's kind of the same thing as resting. Sure, take the curse, I say. Let's do that. Then we'll find a Dubu doll. A prayer wheel. That's very good this early in the run. Extra card reward from normal enemies. Which could actually mean it's better to do this path now. Just take lots of card rewards. It'll be unupgraded cards, though. Let's lean on this more in Act 2, where we can use it to get upgraded stuff. I'll take the extra relic. Thank you. What's in here? Self-forming clay, a favorite of mine. Whenever we lose health, we'll gain block on the next turn. Excellent versus the ghost, too. Guess we upgrade Bludgeon. Or do we want to upgrade Battle Trance? No, we want to upgrade Bludgeon first. Self-forming clay starts to provide, like, constantly returning value. You get to block three, so we only take two, but then we get to three block from it again, so... Effective hit points are being gained all over the place. And now we get toasty. Gotta kill this one before it hits us. Four days would be the best hand we could draw. Actually, not what we drew. A bonk. Excellent. We score a lizard tail. When we would die, heal to half our max health instead. Definitely rewarded for not taking max health loss for the golden idol. We want a whirlwind or an anger. Hmm. Fire Breathing is like Whirlwind, right? I don't have an upgrade to give to you. I'll skip these. You can get clumsy from a curse key. Yes, you can. It's one of the one of the main ways that we can get it. Kill the front one and block. But knowing what I'm drawing, let's just do this. Pretty clean. Lex. 
feed. Okay, yeah, I'll take a feed. Don't, don't not take feed. Feed is good. Feed allows us to gain even more max health, which will make the lizard tail more and more powerful the more we can feast. Well, I feel compelled to power potion here. Ooh, fire breathing bash. It's a pretty bad matchup for us, honestly. I feel like we're going to do better in the Legolin fight. I'm going to use this power potion now. Ah, okay. Demon form. Oh, that's right. It's a double. Okay, well, we win this fight. I'll just uh, wait a couple turns. Dear Lord. That is some strong. So we could actually just kill it. Or I can take seven damage to try to eat it. I'll get two draws to eat. I think that's worth it. Also, we're currently at 37 HP, which is a bad number to be on for Hexaghost. Hexaghost will, will deal damage based on uh, every 12 health that we have. Hexaghost's so-called divider move. Whoops. I thought that said 24 damage. Dang it. Well, I failed completely there. Definitely thought that was going to leave Hex the Lego Balloon with four hit points. But it didn't. <laughs> My bad. Task failed successfully. Yeah, I think I think what happened was that the the tooltip maybe hadn't updated for the demon form, and then I, I had already decided to click. That's that's called playing too fast. Is what happened there. Any whom. Yeah, it was a clumsy move. Do I want a sword boomerang or flame barrier? I do love flame barrier as a card. Give me a flame barrier, especially going into hexaghost. Uh, and I think for Hexaghost, I'm going to choose to upgrade Fire Breathing. I need those burns to do more damage. Charmy Dud, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Glad that moment could be inspiring. <laughs> Even gods can bleed. be six turns of weekend. That's pretty good in this fight. Do we need more help for the Hexagos fight? That's my question. Currently, we're going to take 18 minus 5. Take 13. Go to 17 hit points. That's kind of low. Use this now. Um, do we have any way to gain strength in this combat? No. So let's delete this now. Squish. I like that we now have uh, Dreamcatcher and Regal Pillow. It's cute. Lined up the bludgeon with the vulnerable twice in a row now. That's not guaranteed to happen. Looks like we're we're doing plenty fine here. If we're lucky, we can land the feed. Let's see, we have four curses in the draw pile, so I actually don't want to strike at all, I don't think. If we want to try to feed here. Pretty variable. 
Next turn it's still weak, so it's gonna attack for six by two. We should be fine. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, we'll say that made up for missing it on the, the Lagavulin. Pretty hard to land the feet on Hexagos there. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. Operating Exhum and Barricade. Exhum with feed can be very, very strong. I personally like offering quite a bit here, although we don't have the constant sustain of the burning blood to make up for the six health loss. It still does give us an immediate boost of energy and card draw and gives us three block on the next turn for dealing damage to ourselves. Plus there are ways we could get healing like the bloody idol, or we can just sleep, which is not too bad, especially since it offers more card rewards. Happy with an offering here. Entropic Brew is pretty cool. Fill all our empty potion slots with random potions. If we're really lucky, we can get a potion belt shortly before we drink it. But otherwise, it'll turn into two new potions that are each double effectiveness. In addition to that, we're going to get a real boss relic now. Oh no. I guess Fusion Hammer's pretty okay if I've got Regal Pillow and Dreamcatcher. We do have two bonuses for resting. Might as well just say, heck it, rest all the time. Upgrades are for chumps, I suppose. I feel a little sad for not upgrading feed instead of fire breathing, but I don't know if we would have actually killed Hexaghost without that fire breathing upgrade. Could also take Philosopher's Stone as the third option, give the enemies additional strength instead. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world, especially with self-forming clay. I don't love it though. I think I'll take the Fusion Hammer. I think I'm perfectly okay with that. And then we'll path maybe to a slightly lower number of rest sites. We're also going to be able to add a lot of upgraded cards to the deck from here as long as we prioritize taking combats and not events because we want to land feeds and we want to look at doubled card rewards. So we want to take a lot of regular enemy combats. And then maybe a late shop. Uh, well, no choice other than a late shop. All the shops are at the end here. All right. So I guess the path I'm looking at then is this. Because that means we're not transforming anything anymore. We may not go to the... Um, yeah, we'll see which one of these we want. And then Elite Shop. And one more Elite. What about Burning Elite this act? We'd have to go through a lot of events to get there. We are pretty strong, though. I think we do a pretty good job at, at dealing with each of the three elites. Could take a no elite path. I think elites are still well worth fighting when you've got uh, Prayer Wheel. Event could give us the Bloody Idol or maybe a provide a transform to this curse. Got good potions for the elite, too. Or we at least have two potions for the elite. Oh, I think we want that larger number of uh, regular combats at the start. Going this way. See how quickly I regret my choice. As we lose hit points in each and every one. Could drink the Entropic Brew right now. That might be worth thinking about, actually.
And then we want to somewhat distribute potions. If we're going to go through a lot of combats, we'll want to use potions here and there. I'm going to drink this right now. Yeah, let's use the weak potion for this fight. 40 damage fire potion is a really nice thing to have in the pocket. Just squish it. Squish it immediately. Don't think I want to play Offering in this fight. Not with, not with having spent the uh, weakness potion. Should be able to save the rest of the health here. This bludgeon can make it kind of difficult to land feed. like we get to feed, though. Can't quite kill. We take five more, but then we eat you. I accept this. Okay, not terrible. Armaments Plus. Upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of combat. And another Battle Trance. Don't think I want two Battle Trances, but I will take the Armaments Plus. For sure. That can upgrade feed during combats. Although without a headbutt, it might be difficult to line it up. This is a good fight for us. We should be able to easily defeat Chosen, maybe with feed, if we're lucky. Although I may need to use Offering. We'll see. I can play Battle Trance here. Oh, that didn't quite work, huh? So we get a feed if I were to use the potion. Otherwise, we're taking 12. A shame. It's a really good potion, is the thing. Yeah, this pummel is quite sad. One times five. Good job, Pumel. I don't think a, a deal 40 potion is worth it for 12 health, though. With an elite coming up, it's far more valuable in the elite fight. So I think I'm going to miss the feed here. At least the first time around. Instantly win. Yeah, we'll, we'll choose to miss the feed there. We want an inflame. I don't know about that. Blessing of the Forge is kind of nice. I don't think I want any of these cards. Not even inflame. Skip. This turn one isn't ambitious enough. Also, I want that three block next turn. Oof, fire breathing and the curses. What a bad draw there. Bummer. Truly a bummer. I need the warp to die ASAP. blocks. Next turn we can bonk the guardian. Can we line it up so that we can bludgeon feed? That's 52 damage. That's not enough damage. Oh wait, you're taking another 6 though. Hold on. So we have 15. 52. We have to do 53 plus 20. Curses. That's still not quite enough damage. Hmm. Willie Vanilli, thanks for the tier 1 sub and the 20 months of support. We could draw one dazed, I guess. That's a possibility. This is nothing to do but strike then. We did 
Not draw dazed. Ah, oh, man, that's really unfortunate. Why not eat the sentry? Because the sentry doesn't attack for 11 times two. We've got, even if we upgrade this, this only gets two more damage. So we can do maximum 42 plus 12, which is 54, do 58. And the fire potion doesn't even line up feed, they say. Yes, it does. We could do fire potion, armament, strike feed. Which I guess is what I'll do. This is this is more health than, than 12, which is what we were looking at last time, right? So I think we should just do it. I was really hoping to use that on the elite. But health is preserved, and we get an explosive potion, which is like a fire potion to every enemy. You know what? I don't feel bad at all. Continue the potion drops, please. And I will take a shrug. Yes, I will. Will Blessing of the Forge upgrade Searing Blow twice with Sacred Bark? No. No, it won't. What if Blessing of the Forge here to make this draw five? This is a pretty bad turn one versus these three. But also upgrade the feed, and with six energy and nine cards, I can probably kill one of them. Let's do that. Hmm. Probably, he says. Full arm of the battle trance. Okay, we have bludgeon and feed. Good. That works, right? That's exactly 54. That's exactly 54. Delicious. All right. Well done. You've got to die, friend. I think taking one damage is a good idea because we'll get three block for next turn. Kills you. Exaxes, good. Good. But then. Guess we just block with flame barrier. Bash flame barrier. We're a little slow to the punch here. We're still doing quite well. well this is seemingly fine. Bonk. The potions do continue to come. Speed potion, 10 dexterity for one turn. Corruption is here. Hmm. Think about that. Evolve is here. Evolve's nice with fire breathing, theoretically. I guess corruption is also pretty good with fire breathing. isn't exactly a corruption deck yet, but anytime you've got a prayer wheel, you can add a lot of skills to your deck. Let's do it. We're also easily, more easily going to be able to find the other exhaust interaction cards like Dark Embrace and Feel No Pain because we're looking at more card rewards. So we should probably take the card that's good with other cards is my thinking. Maybe wanted to pummel the bird there, but flame barrier is just as good. 
Now it's in feed range. Or is it? No, it's gonna die. It's a fire breathing. She wanted to draw the days there. It's pretty funny. That didn't work out. Dang. It's definitely not worth using the explosive potion here. This is required to make sure the elite doesn't kill us outright. Bummer. Line. It's not terrible. Fighting Collector? I'd really, really prefer a Shockwave. Come on, give me a Shockwave. It's got Corruption. You have to give me a Shockwave. Bummer. We needed the Fire Potion. This is still good, though. I'm super throwing this. Uh, and the good news is we also have the speed potion, so I can block for 37. But I can't kill this nerd. Good news is we won't be weak next turn. Then feet, then offering, so we draw five. We have to sort this out. Can't play corruption. We have to kill this fool. Kills 31, you say? Hmm. I can feed on the middle one, or we can save four health by just killing the front one. When in Rome. Bonk. All right, the good news is we didn't lose our lizard tail. You can see how close that was, ultimately, that gauntlet there. Um, we ended up with no potions on the other side of it, but we do have a calipers and a power throw, which I think is pretty good with the fire breathing. Yes, Microwave Brother, if you're looking at, if you ever have a choice between, like a, a branch choice between two of the same type of node, like two different chests at a branching path, they'll, they'll both be the same. There's no RNG difference one way or the other, so there's no... Nothing to shape your picks there. Got another shrug. I guess I like calipers with uh, corruption quite a bit, because if we find Feel No Pain, things are going to look up. Can I defeat the Book of Stabbing? Or Gremlin Leader before we get absolutely murdered? Maybe. The answer is maybe. I don't have to fight this elite. With no potions, maybe I shouldn't. But I'm going to. See how this goes for us. Hmm. Be back for you later. Actually, don't mind this fight that much because of the self-forming clay. 
as well as, of course, the fire breathing. So yeah, if you want to stab me a bunch of times and give me a bunch of wounds, be my guest. See what happens. Ow. But also, block. And also, three damage cards. Hur hooray? Wow, you really... Really just drew all strikes and defense here in Act 2. That's a feeling. Okay, you have to stop killing me now. Kindly don't murder me. Sincerely, me. Uh-oh. I may have overestimated our abilities to defeat the Book of Stabbing. Lizard Tail, no! I'm sorry. Oh, we get to feed, though. Yum. All the max health. We will never die again, this I swear. Juggernaut self-forming clay, not as much as a combo of a combo as you would want it to be. I don't want this. Um, all of the self-forming clay effects stack together, so you get just one instance of Juggernaut at the start of your turn. It's not that good. Also, we have 110 hit points now. So that's kind of cool. We're extra chunky. Tempting to play corruption there. But I wanted to bonk. Take that. Inconvenient. Now I must take wounds. Oh dear. I think this is a heal again? I'm not sure. And we can draw up to 20 additional damage, but she heals for almost 20. Should be fine. Oh no, it was a strength buff. Don't hurt her. Perfect. Delicious. Get a blessing of the Forge, eh? Might want to consider that a fl in flame. I will definitely take a shrug plus. No, we're not looking for in flame as a way to scale. How do I beat Collector, though? Fire breathing. Got it. Fire breathing is the way. Keep going. Sneko versus Corruption Deco. This should go quite well for us, actually. Also, behold Caliper's value. Oh, yikes. This is... Oh, here we go. The Bonkening. Perfect. Zero cost corruption. You definitely love to see it. Seems like feed might not be happening today, but we'll see. Although there's only one injury. No, this is fine currently. Please continue to do that. So 
and kill now, or we can try to eat it. I'm going to greed a little bit here. Feels like the right choice. Good. Totally paid off. You get offered another offering. Almost enough hit points for that to work. You know what? We do have enough hit points for that to work. With calipers, we want to be able to draw and play more cards at the same time anyway. And you're going to offer me an exhaust power. Yes! And it's on sale. Here we go. Not only that, but... Lord in heaven above, finally, we see a copy of Violence for sale that we can afford. Putting three random attacks from the draw pile into our hand. Give me that. Abacus seems kind of awesome, actually. Now that we have Dark Embrace and uh, Calipers. So does Second Wind. Oh, I can't get them both. I'll take the Abacus. This seems funnier if it works. The. Ah. Uh. Terrifying. I gotta do me dirty like that, Gremlin Leader. But why, though? is rude. Hmm. Not too bad, actually. Right, fetch me some attacks. Legend. Probably gonna do, like, shrug defend? Although I'd ideally want to kill the sneaky gremlin. That would take two attacks. We could do defend, strike, strike. That takes relatively little here. That takes four. Gets rid of one gremlin. We're going to need to get the fire breathing in play to deal with the gremlins here. That won't be too hard, though. Once we get the powers in play, we're fine. Ultimately, being attacked on turn one, I think, is a good thing here. Guess I'll leave Pummel, since we have Dark Embrace. You are resummoning, which is... Not good. Need that Dark Embrace in play, and we need it in play now. There we go. Now the shenanigans can properly begin. You want to upgrade feed with that, huh? That's all for now. So no armaments on the feed, not yet. You gotta die, and you gotta die. You take some damage. Calipers keeps all that block for us, thankfully. So we don't have to take damage from this. Badonk. Good. Okay, feed's upgraded. Just got to draw back to it now. Addy baby, thanks so much for the prime sub. Welcome to the cozy sim club. Perfect. Tasty. Thanks, the Abacus. Pre appreciate it. 
could grab another feed here. Two feeds could make it more consistent to land the feed in the first place. It could also let us double feed in some fights. Headbutt's kind of cool, too. I think we take the second feed. Delicious. Plenty of fights in Act 2 where we can feed twice. And I guess we might as well rest, or we could recall now, saying we don't need to rest for the Collector fight. Although, quite frankly, I think we might need to. I'm not sure how this fight is going to go. Okay, I'll rest now. Still no feel no pain. Feel no pain when? Do I care if I initially miss corruption? A little bit. Just a little bit. Definitely want to kill these minions quickly. Let's bludgeon one of them. Next turn. Gonna get attacked. There's fire breathing. Speed doesn't work on minions, but it's a convenient way to kill this one. Here we're gonna tank some damage to the face. Such is the way of things. Dragon House, thanks for the two full years of support. Much appreciated. All right, now the ultimate shenanigans begin. Speed. Bonk. Take all the block now, I guess. Now, fire breathing does the rest, really. That and bludgeon, of course. Although, next turn looks really quite bad for us. We maybe needed to use the speed potion on one of those turns. I'm glad I didn't choose to not rest, though. Holy crap. We're in a bit of trouble here. We will die next turn if we cannot kill Collector. I guess we just go all in, then. And we really hope we can do 33 damage here. Next turn we have Red Skull. Holy crap, you're right. We also have the Abacus. And thanks to those things combined, we get to eat the Collector. GG. But we did need all of those hit points. Terrifying. Like I said, we will never die again. But we will consider Brutality. At the start of your turn, lose one health, draw one card, get three block next turn, which then gets retained. It's like Metallicize, but if Metallicize made you draw more cards and cost zero energy. Seems pretty good. And we can transform and upgrade three cards. We did it! We can transform Injury. Will it turn into a better card? is unknown, but we gotta take our shot. And also get rid of, I guess, two strikes here. Into double feel no pain plus. I believe. Hmm, I doubt that was useful. 
But the seeing red and the headbutt seem like a solid improvement, particularly the seeing red with Dark Embrace. I'll take it. At least it's not a normality. Excellent. Happy to go to that shop, happy to fight maybe these elites. And we do, of course, want combats along the way. Combats and events, we get two events no matter which path I choose. Could also go this way if we really need more hit points. We'll see, I suppose, when we get here. We could also go this way. I like that. That's right, we have two feeds for this fight. Let's do it. Pummel the spikers. The, the, this fight, we gotta go as quickly as possible. This is not gonna work out. Fire breathing can lower their health easily for us. That's good. plans. Which I guess are just bludgeon. Definitely should just hit it last turn. Whatever. Second Dark Embrace. Oh boy, that's gonna break this run. In a good way. Second Dark Embrace and second Wind. Perfect. The Abacus is fully online. Minus seven max health. Lose all the max health we just gained. Or lose a ton of current health. Or get a curse. Don't want another curse. We'll lose the max health. And I could also lose all my money. These are not the events we wanted to see, unfortunately. No extra colorless cards, no extra boss fight, none of that. Just sadness. Just sadness. So terrifying. Deeply terrifying. Oh good, what do we got here? Might want a speed potion for the rest of this turn. What's incoming here? We have 44 plus 10, 54. 54 damage. We're going to block for an extra 26. Yeah, this will help a lot. Speed Potion is very strong for other later fights. But we're also 50% chance to get another potion. Got a shop coming up where we can buy more potions. And I think hit points are pretty valuable right now. So I am going to spend all this stuff. To get out of taking damage here. It's a perfect block too. I mean, how can you say no? A literally perfect block. I guess I don't really care about upgrading both feeds, do I? It's too bad, I did it anyway.
Another blessing at the porch. Ooh, upgraded disarm is pretty cool. These true grits I wish were upgraded. Oh well. They're not. They are not. I guess we can sing red to play bash and then headbutt battle trance. I like that. Glad we didn't get didn't get attacked for a lot of damage turn two here. This enemy can be quite threatening on the second turn. When they want to be. Delete all the self damage cards for now. For this fight. This won't be an acceptable draw next turn, that's for sure. We're gonna take some damage here, maybe even quite a bit of it. This is not going quickly enough. Oh yeah, quite a bit of it indeed. Ow. People often ask, um, you know, when is this enemy threatening? Never seems to be threatening. Here it's threatening. Very much so. Terrifyingly, terrifyingly threatening. But we do eat it successfully and get our card rewards. Another power through plus seems pretty all right. Yeah, when you can't scale fast enough, which we're currently failing to do... Amphianus, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. I guess I'm going to go the double rest site route rather than the double elite route. Yeah, we are not into busted territory at all. We're able to make a lot of block, but that alone is not enough. Now, if you can turn all of that block into damage, we can start to talk. Two together. Yeah, I like this. I'm blessing of the forge here. Save that one energy, crucially. There's corruption right away. How generous. Let's see if I'm afraid. One doubt in the draw pile. It'd be nice to kill the one that's doing 25 damage, huh? I guess feed would do that. Do have a spare. This is how much damage. 32, 50. Stop there then. Maybe it was correct to play the Offering and then play the second Dark Embrace. I think we're okay, though. Oh, 
ultimately we don't we don't have a good way to scale the damage. It's still our core problem. Although fiend fire is a pretty good attempt. Assume 20 damage from fire breathing. It might actually be 30. Yeah, it is 30. Whoops. At least we get more draw on turn one. We get a dexterity potion that gives four points of dexterity, and we finally get offered a true grit plus that can get rid of attack cards. Now we're starting to get towards something truly special for this deck. We can recall here? Yeah, we can recall here. We get an Nunchaku. Energy for every tenth attack. Not too bad. There's a Juggernaut here. Another Disarm's pretty powerful too. No violence though, no Dolly's Mirror. With one more shop coming up, it might be the best idea to, idea to simply save money. There's also the possibility of a shop in one of these events. Probably go for two. <laughs> we are looking for ways to deal more damage, and that's definitely what this Juggernaut represents. Also, it goes hard with um, Abacus, and it's on sale. You know what? I'll buy it. I think y'all are right, but that's all I'm buying. You can come. Turn one. Let's do it. Let's go. Right hand to beat fire. That's all I'm really confident in right now. This looks like it. Get rid of all of this right away. Is that correct, though? Hmm. Only one way to find it out. I lost Bash already because I'm some kind of maniac. That seems kind of insane.
do we played corruption too early here? Certainly feels like that's the case. Why are you still here? Okay, and then next turn, though, we have a real problem. I guess we have to feed now. Let's just feed now. Get the block here. Hopefully we can kill next turn. We certainly actually can't. We, yeah, we only do 12 plus 42. We're a little short here. Bummer. 10 damage short. Saving that much health. Well, that's why we didn't go double elite earlier, I guess. Ouch. Letter opener is good. Second corruption seems excessive. Terrifying. We do get another merchant, though. This is why we save money. And look at that. There's a Dolly's Mirror here, so we can buy, finally, the second Violence. Now we just have to win the run. That's good, I really prefer to take another regular combat here. Thinking about buying Blood Potion, let's shop around in the next act, though. Only we had a body slam. This would be a lot easier. Maybe there'll be a body slam here. We're lucky. Violence is quite a bit of card draw, actually. That part's nice. These are not body slams. Seeing red's good, though. Don't think I've got a lot of use for war cry. We're offered two clumsies right now. Would I take them? No, I think we're we're too at risk of losing the violences, as it is. Without a feel no pain, this is going to be pretty tricky, actually. Thank goodness we have 121 hit points, and yet another shrug. Actually, uppercut's not the worst either. I do kind of regret not taking that upgraded clothesline. I wanted a shockwave, and I never got one. Don't play Corruption. I think that might be the answer for a fight like this one. It's definitely the answer for the Awakened One fight, is don't play the Corruption. 
Because we're going to run out of momentum. Alright, just upgrade that stuff. Offering yet. Not yet. Uh, company. Ah. Madness. Uh, we, we could actually die in these boss fights here. We don't necessarily have what it takes. Especially if our draw order is not favorable. With no Dark Embraces in play, we're in a lot of trouble. Brutality will help, though. Certainly wish I could make Time Eater weakened. Apparently we can't do that. Here we go. I have no energy. Do I have to second win the Juggernaut? No, that won't work. We have to play Juggernaut. Heck. Guess we skip. Juggernaut for now. But I'll be back. Soon. We're almost there, Twitch chat. Don't worry. some stuff. Yeah, time to, time to slim down. Okay, you're finally in play. Set the timer here. Fine draw for now. We are losing one health per turn, but I think we can keep up the blocking game pretty well for quite a while. Now that's what I call damage. Paradox428, thanks for the tier 1 sub and the 5 months of support. Thank you, thank you. Alright, delete these. Let's 
to bludgeon. Every card that can be deleted must. Now we can play Corruption. Deal the requisite damage. I think so. No, I totally can't. So it goes. We only had two cards left on that last turn, so there was there was no way to actually play and get the feed kill. Otherwise, time meter was going to end our turn. Reasonably use the Blessing of the Forge in this fight. This would be a good place to do it. We don't have to, though. I'm gonna go back to full health as long as we win, right? We're fine. I think we're fine. Let's get all the attacks out of the draw pile, please. Perfect. That's what violence is great for. Discard all your garbage attacks. Forever. You have to eat both of them, though. Don't forget that. That's just an objective requirement. In this fight, I think we can corruption early. I'm going to. Discard these so we can draw them more. Seems fine. Give me more days so I can do more damage. In fact, we even want to headbutt probably the wounds. Although in this case, I think I'll headbutt armaments, trying to get both of these feeds. is doing a job too. Let's see, 13 times 8 is most of your health. Stop the scaling. Delicious. Simply delicious. Yum. GG. Two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of this elegant violence? Not clumsy at all.
You ready, your blade? Feeling 2026. Damage. A good year. At least I hope so. Have I been here before? We get to sleep to full health. In fact, we have to. Ooh, evolve plus might make the difference here in the heart and spear shield fight. If we get down to just a few status cards, this could make a big difference. Let's take it. Not bad, not bad. Then I'm hoping for a better potion. Strength potion's okay. There was another violence here. Uh, and there's also a medical kit, which would have been pretty cool. But I think we take either the four strength potion or maybe the gambler's brew. I guess a four strength potion is pretty good. Let's take that. Plan on using this for spear and shield and then the dex potion for the hearts, I think. Let's see how that goes. We have 150 hit points, no lizard tail. We lost that to the book of stabbing a long time ago, unfortunately. But we've got some other good stuff. Looks like a really good turn one so far. Oh ho ho. Can't eat them both if I do that. That's okay. Let's go one more shrug. Power through. Beam fire with the strength pot. This is 11 times 8, 88 damage. Probably want to put that on Spire Shield here. Kill the shield quickly. And then we draw a whole bunch more cards. definitely pummel almost finishes the job. What do you mean almost? Almost finishes the job. The penultimate mastery. How's it going, Dano Might? Welcome to the stream in IGFB24. Thanks for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Brutal. The tea. It's all right, just you wait. Take one, a calculated amount, and then the power. Letter opener, go. Here we go. We need to feed ASAP here, just to avoid losing one health per turn. I think we might have wanted to optimize a little differently, but... This is ultimately fine. The Nunchaku setup isn't that important to me. Get a Toy Ornithopter that's just five more health into the hard fight. I guess that's fine. And we'll take one more shrug. For the road, of course. We have 43 cards in this deck. 137 hit points and a dexterity potion. Most, perhaps most importantly of all, we also have calipers and self-forming clay. 
It's a chonky deck. I see we got Dark Embrace turn one, though. You'll love to see it. Problem is I can't play both the Dark Embrace and the Corruption. I say we play just the Dark Embrace, then. And we can get back to Corruption or Headbutt Corruption, if we so desire. Yeah, or we can play the Offering and then play the Corruption. And a lot of other things besides. All right, hold on a minute. I'm still not convinced I actually do want to corrupt on turn one. But I can build up a lot of block. Also pull some attacks in the draw pile. I can also double bludgeon here. Getting a bunch of damage down seems like a pretty good start. We can go bludgeon, headbutt, violence, bludgeon. Hmm. I'm kind of down for that. Ultimately, damage is what we need to win this fight. Got plenty of health. Also, Fiend Fire, but I'm not doing that yet. Let's do 100 damage to the heart. Turn one. Get nine block at the start of this turn. It's unfortunately the big hit first. There are worse fades, though. It's blocked for quite a bit. And this is an excellent draw. We get Flame Barrier this turn, we get Disarm this turn, we get Juggernaut this turn. We do have to make some choices. I'm thinking Fire Breathing, Juggernaut, Disarm, get played. We definitely need Fire Breathing in play as, as a main portion of our damage. There's 50 damage in the draw pile from Fire Breathing. This is non-negotiable. Flame Barrier would deal 4 times 15, 60 damage. That might be more than Juggernaut would deal. Also, if we let this attack actually hit us, we get a ton of block. Headbutt is not in the draw pile. I think we should just get the Juggernaut in play. Let's let's skip the Flame Barrier this time. Oh, actually, no. Let's play Offering Flame Barrier. Deal another 60 damage. Works for me. Please. We need him. Hmm. You know, that really makes me want to just play Fiend Fire. We lose all three of these strikes. We get rid of Corruption, Battle Trance too, which means we can do Power Through Second Wind things to win this fight. Let's do it. That's a really good Fiend Fire. We'll have to use True Grit to tactically delete some of the other stuff. That's okay. Through grit, the headbutt next, I guess. Well, that's good with other stuff. I guess we'll lose bludgeon. 
And then what have we got? It's only an unequipped second wind. I think we still probably play it. Lose all this stuff. Go. Perfection. Here we go. Beautiful. Was a juggernaut deck the whole time. Now we just do this over and over again? Yeah. Let's also let them do fire breathing things, but we don't need to. Busy. Unlimited cards. Some of the real value of the cards that, that Ironclad has that make status cards. Sometimes you just want more stuff to exhaust. Get in there, fire breathing. GG. I actually cannot kill with feed, by the way. <laughs> Get in there, Abacus. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.